Well, good morning, everybody. Um, I just say thank you for all the new subscribers. I've had quite a bit of feedback, and uh, we're all learning all the time. Then it's great, really. You know, we're, we're learning as we go along. Um, there's a bit of confusion because I put the meter on to to measure how much it costs. So I won't explain that in any detail this time. I'll just I've got it plugged in. And I'll just tell you how much it actually cost in electricity to um, do it. But as you can see, oh dear, the, the breakfast patties have been really popular. And to be honest, they're popular with us as well. God, they're so nice, aren't they? So um, just for a quick snack, we're having them again today. And now uh, one subscriber, well, actually a couple said about, you know, when I fry the egg in there, I mean, this is just a cake tin that we had in the cupboard. So... You know, we're all learning and it seemed to work fine. But as we've got them um, on the, uh, the going on the bread, I thought it'd be nice if they were like that. So I'm, I, I will try and get some rings, but we thought to try it. We've got some of the old, um, what do you actually call them? When you cut out your pastry, I used them when I made the cakes. Um, yeah, so I think they'll work. And the big thing is, We've not spent any money, have we? So let's just get on with it and see how we go. So first of all, I mean, I run through the price of the patties. I mean, this pack cost two pound fifty, and um, we just want two of those out. So you know that's. That's great, isn't it? They go back in the freezer and I've took them out. And we've got two slices of cheese and two eggs, and it's it's gonna be that simple really. So what we need to do also another point I put a video on because this turned up last night about eight o'clock. I mean that was only last night. I mean now we're looking at twenty past twelve, you know, what something to it. So I thought we'll we'll put the patties in here and see how we go. I don't think we need to oil that. But what I'm going to do first of all is what I often don't do, mainly because I forget. I'm going to preheat the cooker. And that does 205 for five minutes. So, you know, it doesn't cost a lot. We'll do that. Oh, and by the way, it's one of the subscribers' birthday today. So have a nice day. You know, it's we all love a birthday, don't we? Just do as you like on your birthday, you can't go wrong. That's what I do. You don't have to spend money, do you? Just do what you want. So let's start the preheat. Say it's 2.05 for five minutes. Off we go. Yeah, the meter's working correctly, so I can give you a price at the end for the electric. But I think I'm overcomplicating it for people, to be honest. But, uh, We'll let that run and I'll get back to you. Right, that's warmed up now, ready to go. So we're ready. Um, we'll just pop the patties in. Well, you can feel the heat in there. So we'll just put them in, look, they're straight from frozen. And uh, let's, um, I mean, last time I did those on 200. Let's try 190. We've got to keep trying, haven't we? 190. And the time, uh, yeah, we'll make that 10 minutes. Yeah, and we'll turn them over at five minutes. That's what we'll do. We'll see how they are at 190. We'll see what happens. Yeah, and um, as I say, we're using the new silicon tray in there. So these do, you know, there is a bit of fat comes out of these. Not, not masses, but there is a little bit. So, you know, and, it, and it's using it, and it's a cheap lunch in case anything's wrong. And then we thought this afternoon, we thought we'll have a ride out in the car and, and go to a local butcher's and see if we can get um, maybe a couple of pork chops. 
for a tea tonight. So yeah, yeah, I think we'll do that. And then if we can, if I can get some, we'll um, we'll put that video on later tonight. If I'm not too busy, I'm not too busy, am I? That's rubbish. Yeah, so we'll leave this now five minutes and then I'll turn them over. Right, they've been on 190 for five minutes. Let's have a look at these patties. As I say, I'd already eaten it up. Which is what I should do. Excuse me, I'm messing in the drawer because as usual... I'm not as well prepared as I should be. Well, they're cooking all right. Now there's a little bit of fat coming off, but not very much. They seem to be cooking okay. Um, yeah, what I'm thinking now, we've got the buns and they need slightly, they need a light toasting, don't they? I could get two on the edge of there. Let's put them in a bit of foil to keep them separate. <laughs> Let's, um, so that will still cook the burger there, and that will just keep them separate. Oh dear, I could be better organised. Stick the two bottoms in there. Okay, I think that will work fine. Back in another five minutes. See how that goes. Right, that's on uh, four minutes to go now. So let's just see if these buns are toasting. Hey, they're all right. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm letting the heat out. Let's put the other two in. That's only took a minute. So, I mean, these muffins they only want to be slightly toasted, don't they? So we'll let that go now. I'll wait another minute. I'll whip them out again. So we have actually lightly toasted the muffins as well. So that's that job done. Yeah, I am aware these might take a little longer now because I keep pulling them out. It's not what we wanted to do. But let's carry on. There's two minutes left now on the timer, so We'll put a bit of oil in the tray and get the eggs ready. Yeah, you don't need very much oil in there. Well, we've found you don't need much. <coughs> oh dear, excuse me. We've <coughs> got a frog. I think somebody will soon be ready for a cup of tea. Right, what we're doing, as I say, we suggested we use chef's rings. We've not got any. With a bit of luck, we might find some this afternoon. But you know, try this. We've got them, haven't we? Got nothing to lose, have we? Put a bit of oil round there. Yeah. I think I feel lucky. Some are thin, some are thin. Now 
now this one's a lot thicker than the last one, I can feel it. I've got to think it's thicker than me. There we go, that's time up. Let's see what the patties are like. Hopefully, that'll be about there. I think they're all right, they're fine. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna leave them in there. We'll use the temperature probe as well, but we're going in for another five minutes although they will be underneath. Yeah, let's put the eggs in. Oh, I should have tried it in there first, shouldn't I? There's another lesson for you, Graham. <coughs> right, 180. Five minutes. Let's see how we go with that. I've got to apologise, I'm sorry. I've lifted these out not realising the light's gone out and the camera wasn't on. So you've not seen these, but look, they that one's dribbled a bit, but they they've come out alright. I think they're gonna be fine. They look, they look cooked. Yeah, let's see how we go. Now, I had the camera off for a few seconds there because I thought I'll check the temperature. As we've cooked them on a bit lower setting, I thought we'll try the temperature. And the meat temperature at the moment, I think you can see there, it's gone 88 now, 89. I mean, they're cooked, they're fine. So let's take that out, turn that off, let's get these out, hey they look alright, they're alright they are, let's get some cheese on. I don't know whether you can see these. Let's just lay the cheese on there. Right, let's get the egg on. Now I don't know how these eggs are gonna come out of here. Better run a knife around there because we've not done this before, so I think we're going to need to. I think they may have stuck. This has the potential to go wrong, to be fair. Ah, just lift them off. Yeah, carefully. That one's a little stuck around the edge there. Yeah, I think that this is going to have to be a silicon or, or even the steel rings are um, non-stick, aren't they? Yeah, they're a bit sticky. So, it, I mean, it worked, look, but it's not how we want it. Right, it could be easier, couldn't it? Let's get that on there. I'd have to say it's worked again look the eggs look just right so we'll go with that now we'll see if Wendy wants a bit of sauce on hers 
I certainly do on mine. I know it's supposed to be a breakfast patty, but oh, yeah, fair enough. It's five to one. Oh, I just want my dinner. Come on. Anyway, just before we finish, I'd like to say, uh, if you'd like to like and subscribe and leave any comments, that's fine. And that's all for now, folks. Right, I just thought, I forgot to show you the basket, look. I'll tell you what, that's all right. There's a bit of, can you see that fat collected in there? Yeah, I think you can, look, you, you know. So, see how easy that is to clean out, but it's definitely collected it. It has cooled off a little now, because I've ate my dinner. i tell you what, God, it was lovely again. You know, <laughs> naughty. It's naughty, but it's nice. Look at that, look. The, the pan is clean. We've, we've got no problem there. There's no need to clean anything there, other than the liner. I don't want to confuse anybody. But that has cost nearly 11 pence to cook those. So we're happy with that. As I say, we'll just wash this out and see what happens. Then it's off to the shop, see if we can get some pork chops for tonight.